According to Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokeswoman, Maria Zakharova, the US and Western powers began putting pressure on Imran Khan shortly after his visit to Russia. After Imran Khan's statement of America's role in attempting to destabilize his administration, Russia has now joined the battle. According to Maria Zakharova, the official representative of Russia's foreign ministry, the dissolution of Pakistan's National Assembly and the US intervention in the attempt to destabilize the country's government are both shameful. She said, America meddles in the internal affairs of other sovereign countries for its own gain. Maria Zakharova stated that, Imran Khan, as Prime Minister, had visited Russia before recommending the dissolution of the National Assembly. Prior to this visit, the United States and its allies exerted considerable pressure on Imran to cancel the tour. When Imran Khan still proceeded to visit Russia, Donald Liu called the Pakistani ambassador in Washington and demanded that the visit be cancelled immediately, which was also denied. She said, it is clear made that partnership with the United States is possible only if Imran Khan is removed from power. And the latest developments leave no doubt that the US has decided to punish the disobedient Imran Khan, she added. Maria Zakharova also stated that Russia took note of President Arif Alvik's breach of the National Assembly on the advice of the Prime Minister on the 3rd of April as well as the circumstances preceding it and noting how lawmakers within PTI switched sides to the opposition. And these things prove that America has made a shameful attempt to interfere in Pakistan's internal affairs. After the rejection of the No Confidence Resolution, in Parliament on Sunday, Imran Khan stated that, he has suggested to the President of the country, that the Parliament be dissolved. The Assembly was thereafter, disbanded. Imran had mentioned, running for re-election, but the opposition has taken the topic to the Supreme Court. Another attempt, by the United States, to intrude in the internal affairs of a free state, for its selfish purposes, Zakharova added. The spokeswoman further said that, the Prime Minister has frequently declared that, the conspiracy against him, was foreign-inspired and funded. And, we hope that, Pakistani people will be apprised of these circumstances, when they go to the polls, which should take place within 90 days, following the National Assembly's dissolution. Russia's foreign ministry issued the statement after Prime Minister Imran Khan named U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Central and South Asia Donald Liu as the official who made threatening remarks about his regime in a letter that the Premier branded during a public rally in Islamabad last month. In February, Prime Minister Imran paid a two-day visit to Moscow which mainly focused on energy cooperation. During his visit, he conveyed regret to Russian President Vladimir Putin over the growing situation between Russia and Ukraine. He added, Islamabad hoped that a conflict might be avoided through diplomatic methods. Rejecting the allegations made by Imran Khan, spokesperson Ned Price said. There is absolutely no truth to the allegations, as you heard from me last week. Uh, we support the peaceful upholding of constitutional and democratic principles. That is the case in Pakistan. Uh, it is the case around the world. Uh, we do not support one political party over another. We support uh, the broader principles, the principles of rule of law, of equal justice under the law.